Okay guys, this is a map of the world. I wanted to show you so we see all of our big continents on here. Here is North America. This is where we live in the United States. We are right here, kind of in the Midwest. And if we were to get on a plane and fly to Africa, we would have to cross the Atlantic Ocean and Ghana is about right in here. So it is very, very, very far away. Okay, in the country of Africa, we are looking at Ghana. I want to show you guys, in case you didn't pick up on it in the story. So kente cloth, here's some examples. You're going to see that kente cloth is very bright and colorful and it's filled with all kinds of geometric shapes. The word kente means basket. It comes from the Ashanti dialect tribe. It is also known as Nin Toma, which means woven cloth. It originates over 375 years ago, so that's a really long time. According to a legend, Karugo and Emeyao, who we heard about in the story, two brothers went hunting and came across a spider spinning a web. They were kind of starstruck and amazed by its beauty, and they wanted to make something similar. So I don't know if you caught on to that in the story. This all started from a spider spinning a beautiful web. They made the first cloth out of black and white fibers from a raffia tree, which is a special type of tree found in Africa. Here is Kente cloth's main purpose. They make clothing, okay, bright, colorful clothes. Kente cloth is Africa's most sold or most treasured, most famous piece of art. They are known for their kente cloth. I want to skim through this video if Miss Vogue can find which page she put it on. Right here. All right, so this is going to show you kind of in the studio, remember, in their studio. This is a kente cloth artist, Paul Nadio. I hope I said that last name correctly. So he's in his studio in Ghana. He's going to show you some of the pieces he's made, how they make their kente cloth, uh, and a couple of cool things. We're not going to watch the whole video. I'm just going to share some of it. Kente cloth is among Africa's best-known fabrics. Its ceremonial cloth is identified by its dazzling mud-colored patterns of bright colors, geometric shapes, and bold designs. Stripes of the fabric are handwoven on a loop and then sewn together, forming large pieces of cloth. At a workshop in southern Ghana, Osu Podijo is getting his materials and tools ready for weaving. I'm wrapping the yarns that I bought from the store. It is the first. Uh, Kente is traditionally woven primarily by men. Odijo has been weaving for nearly three decades and learned the technique from his father. Okay, so this is the type of machine that they use to weave the kente cloth together. You guys, it will take them a long, long, long time just to do one strip of cloth. So you can see that it's very delicate work and they put a lot of time and effort. They're very proud of this cloth. He just said that he has been doing this for over three decades. One decade is 10 years. So he's been doing this for at least 30 years. This is his job. He learned it from his father. Okay, men are primarily the ones that will make kente cloth. In 2003, he and some of his friends, including shopkeeper Ata Pukwa, formed Banwe Best Kente Weavers and Sellers Association to help promote their work. I've been selling kente for a long time. My grandmother started it. Kente has been adapted as Ghana's national dress. Kente is very expensive, so textile manufacturers are selling cheaper printed versions of the clothes that are less durable. It's often used to make cloth, uh, souvenirs, and accessories that are popular with tourists. Charles Frimpong, a textile expert at... All right, and that is where we will stop. So we're going to make our very own kente.